I'm going to tell you a brief story. In 1814, this country was in war. We were being invaded by the British. In August of 1814, our capital was burnt. The White House was burnt. The state cap the Capitol building was burnt down. A month later, the British Admiral wanted to go up to Chesapeake Bay and attack Baltimore at Fort McHenry. In the meantime, uh, a citizen of Baltimore was arrested, a Dr. Venice. And he's held captive by the Admiral of the British Navy. They needed someone to get Dr. Venice back. He was uh, captured illegally. So they hired a young lawyer from Baltimore, a lawyer by the name of Francis Scott Key. The British Admiral says, you can have your Dr. Venice, but you have to stay on my ship and watch me bomb your city, Baltimore. So he stayed overnight in the hold. That's where we get the hold of baseball, the hold of a ship. And he saw the bombs bursting onto Baltimore and to Fort McHenry. He stayed all night. Then he wrote these words. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave Oh, the land of the free and the home of the Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Matthew Fairchild. Amazing.